Let's take a look at how to do some basic movements and controls within Minecraft Education, and I'm currently on a touch device with this iPad. Now on the left side, you'll see that there are arrows to walk forward, back, left, and right. But as I move my finger across the screen, I see that I can slide it and I get the different arrows to walk in different angles and directions. So those left arrows allow me to physically move throughout the game, but if I add my finger to the right side or anywhere else in the center with my other hand, I get a circle and this allows me to move my head or to look around in the game. So if I combine the two, I can walk forward and then move my finger around on the screen and I can even pick up my finger and slide it around again. So this is much more like I would be in real life. Now, as I continue to move around, I can, double tap that up arrow on the left and I instead of just walk I'm able to run this is really helpful to move around quickly in the game now you'll notice that there's an arrow with a line below it in the center of our directional arrows here if I double tap that that lets me sneak or crouch so as I were to walk without it activated I would step off a cliff or the ledge here but if I enable that by double tapping it and I see that it's enabled there, I can walk really close to an edge, but I won't fall over, which is really helpful, especially with this lava nearby. So I'm gonna back up just to be safe and I'm going to double tap that sneak button so I'm not sneaking anymore. But then on the right side, you'll see that there's an arrow going up with the line below it. If I press that, I can jump. And that's really helpful if I want to jump while I walk. So I'm gonna jump and I can jump over little gaps, which is really helpful to navigate throughout the game. And I can do that while I'm walking in any direction. But if I double tap that jump button, I'm able to then fly. So I see now this is dynamic. I have arrows going up and down with lines. And so if I press that up again, I can fly high to the sky. I can now use my directional arrows to fly around and look around while I'm flying. But if I double tap that up arrow on the left for the directions, I can fly much quicker. So this is a great way to move around. And again, I am doing all of this in creative mode. If I'm done flying, I have the ability to fly down, just tapping that down arrow. And then if I double tap that, I then would return back to the ground. Stop flying. Now, at the very bottom center of our screen, we see these different numbers. This is our hot bar. These are different items that we can carry. If I press the three dots along the right side of that, I now open up our inventory. I have the ability to tap on a block, and then as I tap on that, I can tap on our inventory, our hot bar that we would be carrying. I can slide and scroll through all the different blocks that we have in our inventory. So I'm going to then select this red concrete, and I can just tap again down in the bottom. Or if I want to long hold on it, or if I long hold on it down at the bottom, I can now slide left to right, to determine how many of these blocks I want. And then if I want to return it, I can click and bring it back down or vice versa, clicking up top and replace an item down in my hotbar. So this is a great way to add different items or return them back into the inventory to remove them. And now if I want to separate those, I can do that as well. So I'm gonna close my inventory. So let's go ahead and now look at how to place the, the blocks that we have. So as I walk forward, I'm going to use my right hand. I get that circle as I long hold on a block. I'll see that I am mining. But if I just tap once, I see that I can craft. So if I add another block, I can add it on top. I go to the side and let's change our angle. I'm able to place it to the side here. So we can mine and we can craft. So we can Minecraft. Pretty cool. So. These are some just basic controls within Minecraft Education, doing this on a touch device. There's more to learn. Check out our Minecraft Teacher Academy courses and other learning opportunities at aka.ms forward slash mcgettrained.